I'm Bill Wilt of Assured Research. Thanks so much for joining this quick hit video where we're going to focus on one research note drawn from our September 2024 Assured Briefing. Uh, in that briefing, uh, it's a series of two-page notes, nine of them in total, uh, focused on different topics that we uh, took away from the second quarter earnings season, which as of this recording ended not so long ago. Uh, this focuses on regulatory dysfunction in New Jersey. Now, those aren't our words. Those are the words of a frustrated insurance executive in the second quarter. Um, and many who've been following the personal line space in the now years since the pandemic will know that uh, California, New York, and New Jersey in particular received a lot of, a lot of uh, unfavorable call outs from insurance executives over the last few years. Feels like California and New York have somewhat fallen away. Some of the some of those frustrations as rate filings are moving, filing delays think are starting to come down. Um, less so in New Jersey. So we thought we'd see what was going on, and uh, we'll share with you the slides from uh, from that research note. Okay, you should be able to see to see the slides now. So first, we thought it'd be interesting to look over time, and here we, over time means in, in going all the way back to the year 2000, to see what's happening in auto on the top and homeowners on the bottom, um, comparing the New Jersey loss and loss adjustment expense ratio to, on the left, the mid-Atlantic region, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, um, excluding mid-Atlantic, excluding New Jersey. Um, and then on the right-hand side to states in the Northeast, so those are truly New England states and the U.S. broadly. Um, you can see on the left, both uh, for auto on the top, home and the homeowners on the bottom, New Jersey, New Jersey really looks pretty similar to the other mid-Atlantic states. Um, on the right-hand side for auto on the top, um, New Jersey's uh, done... Um, uh, basically, it's not performed nearly as well uh, as the northeastern states, and it's similar to, it runs a little bit higher than uh, national auto loss ratios. Um, broadly the same story uh, relative to the northeast on the bottom. The northeastern states, you know, on all these measures, anytime you look at them, really does well from a countrywide perspective. Uh, New Jersey homeowners, but for the, uh, the spike for Hurricane Sandy, um, does not do... Um, uh, does outperform uh, the national uh, national uh, the perspective, um, but let's look at rate filings on the left. Um, uh, both in terms of the impact, uh, the percentage impact on the top, and the filing delays. This is auto. This whole slide. So upper left. New Jersey uh, auto rate increases compared to mid-Atlantic states. We picked that comparison thinking just the comparability of the states uh, made the, the, that most relevant. Um, not a big difference. Rate increases in the top, you know, a little bit slower, uh, slower to start, maybe a bit more sporadic than uh, rate increases in the mid-Atlantic region, but same orders of magnitude. Similarly, when you look at filing delays, and the scales on all these are the same. When you look at filing delays, again, we're not going to overanalyze it, but you know, you can you can look at this and say, gee, it does look like the filing delays broadly are, are higher, and they are in New Jersey when compared to uh, uh, other mid-Atlantic states. But a careful uh, scrutiny uh, gets you to the observation that they're, uh, although New Jersey lags are higher, they're, they're of the same order of magnitude. Um, now, when we turn to homeowners, though, then you start to see more differences. Again, comparing New Jersey upper left with the mid-Atlantic uh, rate increases in the upper right, kind of you know easy to see that the mid-Atlantic rate, rate increases started earlier and have been more sustained than in New Jersey. And where there's a real difference, and this is what really what was being called out, particularly in the second quarter uh, conference calls, the one in particular, um, the filing delays in New Jersey, uh, for, especially for homeowners, noticeably higher than uh, than they are in the mid-Atlantic region. And we thought this difference pre and post-COVID was interesting. The average lag pre-COVID, 53 days in New Jersey, now 134 days. The, mid the same comparison for the mid-Atlantic states, really no difference, 70 days, uh, both before and after, uh, of course, with some variability. So we share this 
more as an observation, not with um, not with immediate suggestions as to how to fix this or, or what the resolution might be. Uh, we're aware that the actuarial profession has um, uh, there have been some papers written about you know how to improve rate filings and the rate filing process, uh, recognizing that staffing shortages and the increasing velocity of of rate filings and the sophistication of rate filings. Um, it, it places a real burden and makes it challenging for uh, the state insurance department. So we're empathetic there. But uh, we thought you'd find this interesting. Thanks for your attention. If you're a subscriber, great. Uh, if you're not sure if your company's a subscriber or if you'd like to learn more, there's plenty of ways to find links either at our website or at this YouTube channel. Reach out and we'll, uh, we'll let you know what the path forward might be. Thanks so much for your attention.